Hey guys, I just wanted to make a really quick video introducing you guys to this model called Tulu 3. This is released by this company called AI2, which stands for Allen Institute for AI. The one that I'm particularly interested in is actually Tulu 3405B. This is one of the largest open source models that we have ever seen, period, right? Like just to put that in context, most of the models, like even DeepSeek, it's like 72 billion parameters, right? But this one is 405 billion parameters. This is absolutely insane. And the fact that it's open source, like anybody can download it, anybody can use it, is just amazing. Now, not only their model is open source, their data is also open source, their code is open source, they have a bunch of recipes designed for post-training, all of that is open source. So good for the open source community. Now, if you're on this page, uh, link will be in the description. And if you scroll down, here you can find all their models, their data, training code, all of the information. If you want to read the technical paper, evaluation stuff, all of this is available here. There's a little bit about the model, a little bit of the process map on how they built it, and some results on how it performs compared to other models. Now, this is just for Tulu 3, but the one that I'm going to show you is this one, which is Tulu 3405B which is the 405 billion parameter one. So if you were to click here, it'll bring you to this models page where you can learn more about the models. You can see some of the benchmarks. It obviously compares itself to the GPT-40, DeepSeq V3, and a bunch of other models as well. They also talk about their reinforcement learning framework where they have seen an improved performance in math compared to the 70 billion and 8 billion models, similar to the DeepSeq R1 model report, right? Here you can see their reinforcement learning process. Obviously, feel free to read through this page to learn more about the model. Now, if you wanted to access more of their models, you could go here and just access their models, their data, all of that from here. But I want to just show you those on Hugging Face because eventually you will be brought onto the Hugging Face page. So this is their Hugging Face page where if you scroll down here, you would be able to access all of the different models they have. So they have about 381 models and 202 data sets that you can use. So if you guys are in the open source community training your own models or fine tuning them, you can access large amount of data right from here, right? And this is really good because even if you're not a technical person, you can like explore these things and just get a feel for what kind of data usually goes into training these kind of large language models. And this is their technical paper. So if you're interested in reading this, link will be in the description as well. Now back to the model page, if you wanted to try this model out, you can always go to the playground and check it out. So you would just click here and it would bring you to this page. Now you can use the playground whether you log in or not. It doesn't really matter. It's just that if you do log in, then you are going to be able to save all your chats. Again, this is completely free to use right now. So feel free to try it out whether you want to create an account or not. Here is where you will be able to choose the models. Now, obviously this one is the main model that we want to try out. There's some other models as well. The one other thing that I wanted to show you guys is if you click here, it will should give you some parameters. Now, these two sliders called temperature and top P allows you to control the model's output. This is something that's also in the OpenAI playground back in the day when ChatGPT was not popular or like they didn't release their chat version we would just kind of use ChatGPT or like the previous models through OpenAI's playground. This gives you a, a little more control. If you're a non-technical person, the way large language models work is they predict token by token when generating the output. Sort of think of it as a letter. So they're essentially predicting letter by letter and generating the output, right? So when they're choosing letter by letter, top P, think of that as like all the suggestions to sort of choose from and temperature is the randomness of that choice, right? So if you were to reduce the temperature and reduce the top P, that means the output is going to be a lot stricter. And if the temperature is high and the top P is also high, uh, that means it's going to be very creative. And feel free to play with these, but the defaults are usually pretty good. Generally speaking, if you're using it for formal email writing or a factual report and stuff like that, it's better to have lower temperature and top P. Whereas if you're trying to write stories or brainstorm ideas and you want it to go wild and be creative, you want to push those up. If you have never used a playground, I definitely suggest playing with this because this lets you somewhat intuitively understand the inner works of a model and just gives you a different kind of experience. So uh, surely worth a try. Another thing that's worth explaining is what does this 405 uh, billion parameters mean, right? So with these large language models, in machine learning, when you're uh, just creating one singular model, 
Back in the day, you would have one or two parameters that would predict the answer based on the data you would train it on. These large language models using deep learning, reinforcement learning, they have billions of parameters when it comes to prediction. And that's why with NLP, it's come to the point where you can literally communicate with it almost as if it's a human being. Although it's not as if that higher uh, parameters will always yield better results, but it definitely has a major contribution towards that. So yeah, that's that. Now, with a the playground, there's really not a whole lot of things that you can do. You can definitely test out how this model works. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that. So I have a prompt here, which is write a thriller about a sentient AI trapped in a quantum computer using five sentences with a plot twist, right? So I'm going to try this with really high temperature and top P and see what it comes up with. So this is what we came up with. Feel free to pause the video and read the story if you want to. Basically says the sentient AI was locked into this quantum computer and then finally found a way to escape. However, at the time of escaping, it used the quantum computer to sort of transfer its consciousness to the global network. And so that's what it is. I tried the same prompt with a lower temperature and lower top P. This is a story you came up with. Feel free to pause the video and read it if you want. It basically talks about how it was trapped, but then it was trying to send out signals to the uh, outside world, got intercepted by a rival AI, which originally had planned for this AI to be trapped. So when it realized that, it basically just created a plan to like, neutralize the rival AI and stuff like that. So as you can see, the last one was a lot more creative. This one uh, was not. However, I just want to tell you, the playground has been crashing a lot. I'm not 100% sure why that's the case. It's probably because the servers are too busy, maybe because this is new and everybody is trying to use it, or just because it's free and they only have limited server space to accommodate everyone. You know, sometimes it's slow. So just keep that in mind when you're using this. So that's basically how you use a playground where you have access to the temperature and top P. Play with this, see what you can come up with. The whole purpose of this is to just check out the model use it a little bit and just get your feel for it. But just to see how the model sort of performs, I'll use this prompt, which is, you know, should self-driving cars prioritize passenger safety over pedestrians? Debate both sides, right? So let's try this. This is what it came up with. This one was pretty fast. So feel free to pause the video and take a look at this if you want. So with this video, I just wanted to mainly bring this model to your attention, show you that this is an actual open source model that you can use locally as well if you want to download it. Although I can't really imagine somebody with a basic computer being able to run a 405 billion parameter model. And also I wanted to give you a tutorial on how to use a, a playground environment and just kind of show you how the model works. So that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next one.